pretty exciting day. We're 58 days away from being our second season here at the Independence Event Center. And just like the guys on the field, we're moving fast and furious to get everything ready for the season. Now, up here with me are a few of the most important people that have been uh, very vital for us in our preparations. Uh, over here, we've got a couple guys. We'll get to them in a little bit. Uh, sitting next to me is City Manager Robert Hecock. To my left is Comments Legend Gino Chiraldi. Uh, from Citizens Bank, we've got Randy Baker, Head Coach of the Comments, uh, Kim Redbed, and President of the Comments, Brian Matinsky. In October 1981, a uh, new up-and-coming singer and Prince was touring, opening up for the Rolling Stones. Uh, a new fan interaction uh, fun time was being started, introduced in the seventh inning stretch of a game between the Oakland A's and the Yankees. They called this new fad the Wave. The Kansas City Royals were in the MLB playoffs. And uh, on October 27, 1981, the Comets hit the scene. Now this year marks the 30th anniversary of the Comets debut in Kansas City, and we plan on honoring that legacy all season while moving into a new age of indoor soccer here in Independence. After all, this is the same game, but a new era. Now that new era began last season with an incredible run to the MISL semifinals, thanks in no small part to the gentleman over here. Today we are excited to announce the return of first team all MISL defender Leo Gibson and reigning MISL MVP Byron Albert. The Comets team captain last year, Alvarez, was uh, named the MVP. He was also named all MISL first team. His native of Mexico City led the league in hat tricks and tied for the league lead in game winning goals with five of these. Along with leading the league in multiple uh, categories, his consistent play gave him the longest goal scoring streak uh, of the year at nine games and the longest point scoring streak at 15 games. Known for his rather unconventional style of celebrating goals. Uh, Alvarez recorded a season high of nine point game during an 18-12 win over Chicago Wright on March 6th. He scored four goals, one assist, and scored the winning goal. Now, Leo Gibson last year led the Comets uh, and was tied for third in the league with 13 assists. He was also tied for third on the Comets with 45 points. In an exciting 12-11 comeback victory against the Omaha Vipers, Gibson put up a season high five points with three assists and one goal. He was set, he had the second longest goal scoring streak on the team at eight games. And he was named the MISL's Offensive you, Player of the Month in November. Good. After that, his switch to defense led him to being tied for the team lead in blocks with 20 and tied for sixth overall in the league. Gibson was also named the first team all MISL. Now I'd like to invite Coach Renbet up. Uh, to come say a few words about these guys. Thank you, man. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. And by the way, Jeff, I think Gino and, Gino and I, we were touring with Prince in 81. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to share a quick little thing with you, and with all due respect to my, one of my best buddies in Norway. He, he called me up last week, and he said, uh, he asked me prematurely, what's going on with Leo Gibson? And I said, well, we're hoping to sign him. And he says, you know, if you don't, are there any chance I'm in good shape? So, you know, I'm sorry, you might have to wait get a lot of retirement this time. So, uh, just a quick update in regards to the team. So, with uh, Leo and Byron, that makes it uh, eight signed players. And we're currently talking, negotiating with six to eight other players. The goal is within the next couple of weeks, uh, getting close to the number 15, 14, 15, 16. Uh, and then with the trial coming up here in a couple of weeks, that will be the open trial. Uh, not sure, not sure if we're going to find any superstars there, but you never, you never know. There might be a diamond in the rough there somewhere. And with the invitation combine coming up. Uh, the 12th through the 14th of October, uh, which I hope and believe is going to be very competitive this year. We're going to leave a few spots open, and then camp starting up again uh, the 17th, I believe, if I have my dates uh, right here or straight now. With the opener in Wichita November 3rd, 
Uh, and then back here again the fourth, that gives us between those games, before we play the next one, three weeks, almost three weeks, two and a half weeks. So when we start came up, that gives us a month. So we, if we can get through the Wichita games with a couple of wins and, and, and then bring in hopefully the, the new uh, superstars or the Comets and get them adjusted to the team, I think uh, uh, the schedule in a lot of ways favor us, at least in the beginning. And we'll see what comes out of that. Um, on to our about time you guys signed, by the way, so maybe I can get some sleep now. Uh, I think the stats speaks for themselves, and you know, there's two ways to look at those two gentlemen over here. I have so, certainly enjoyed getting to know them and, and coach them uh, through the past year here. And, and, and uh, what they've done on the field is one thing. Uh, the support that they've given uh, not only me, but also the rest of the team and all the young players. Uh, and, and the community and, and part of the community in the summertime with camps and signing autographs for it, they've just been they've just been first class. And and I am so excited to that they're back again. Uh, and uh, so that's a good thing all they did last year. The best thing is you gotta go out and do it again. And that's just the way it works, right? So uh, they 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 are fantastic support and, and, and I couldn't be more proud. And I wouldn't mind taking a couple of questions if there is any, but... I think we can do questions. Okay, all right. So, thank you, appreciate it, and uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks, guys. Now I'd like to introduce uh, the president of the Comets, Brian Budzinski. Um, keep this uh, pretty pretty short. Uh, we're, we're really excited today on just a, a lot of fronts. You know, obviously uh, bringing back Byron and Leo, two first-class individuals. Um, you know, uh, top-level players in the league. You know, it speaks a lot to our, our future on the field next year um, and then you know in, in Byron's case it's a two-year agreement so Byron will be here for the next couple years so it's 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 really exciting for the future there uh, for our club and our organization and I, and I think uh, for the, the city of Independence and Eastern Jackson County you know I'm I'm excited today to announce that you know we've reached an agreement in principle uh, to be a tenant here at the uh, at the IAC for the next five years and um, you know that that uh, when we uh, when when Mickey and Ed and myself decided to get together and, and put this this team together, uh, put this organization and this club uh, here, um, we were really looking for a partner um, and a world class uh, place to play at. I think that's what the IEC is. I think it's it's a world class venue. Uh, the staff here is fantastic. They do a great job. Uh, they put on a, 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 you know first class. Uh, event every time, whatever, if it's a concert or a professional sporting event. Uh, and then the City of Independence has been a great partner to work with, uh, with uh, Mayor Rimel and, and uh, Robert, uh, Corey with the tour, all the way down to everybody. We're, we're ecstatic uh, to know that we're going to be here through 2016 uh, to, to be playing and have this be our home. 
So um, I'm going to have Robert speak a little bit uh, from the city's behalf. But, you know, we're really excited about uh, uh, what this does for our club and our organization and our franchise as far as a footprint here in um, Eastern Jackson County. Thanks. Well, thank you all for coming out. Um, first of all, I wanted to acknowledge uh, Bill as, si as breathing a sigh of relief. There's no jersey with my name on it up here, so I'm not being announced as a player, so that's a good thing, trust me, uh, for the comments. On behalf of the City of Independence, we want to thank everybody and involved with the comments organization. The players certainly uh, bring a lot to the table. Uh, this is a world-class facility. We're proud to offer it. Uh, we appreciate the hard work of our staff, Mike Young, our general manager here, uh, all of the staff involved. It wouldn't happen if they didn't have the customer service attitude that I think is reflective of what the Independence Event Center means. We're excited about the announcement of the deal. You know, a lot of comets, they go around, what, every 99 years or plus, something like that, Haley's Comet. So we're proud that the, the Missouri Comets will be coming around every year uh, here in the City of Independence. The great thing about soccer as an opportunity is that it's so accessible. Uh, we're seeing really a virtual soccer explosion, I believe, in the Kansas City area. Uh, my son uh, is an avid soccer player and is on the, the Truman JV team. Now, they didn't fare too well against Lee Summit last night, but you know, it doesn't matter. Kids are catching the soccer bug. They're excited about it. And when we see players like Byron jumping up, I don't, we can't call it the Lambo leap. I don't know what we're going to call it. But when he celebrates as he does, it just energizes the whole facility. And so we're really excited to have players that play with passion, that are accessible. What other sport is more accessible than these guys to our young folks? And that's really what the Independence Event Center is about. We're focused on family-friendly entertainment and creating memories uh, for the kids as they grow up in Independence and, and in Eastern Jackson County and, and really the whole area. A large portion of our ticket sales are actually from folks coming from Johnson County and beyond. So we're excited to have you here. Uh, we're thrilled with the player announcements and uh, that we're moving forward on a, a five-year lease. That's going to help continue to, to make the Independence Event Center viable uh, as our se second major uh, sports uh, anchor. And we're looking forward to the future. Thank you for coming. Now this year will be very exciting on the field, but we are looking forward to adding to the fan experience with multiple promotions. We open our home schedule this year on November 4th, and thanks to our partners at Citizens Bank, the first 3,000 fans at the Independence Event Center will receive a custom-made Comets Build-A-Bear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it looks like him. Uh, <laughs> these Build-A-Bears are wearing authentic Comets jersey complete with the Citizens Bank logo on the chest and the Comets uh, logo on the crest and of course a little Comets logo on the paw there. Uh, Comets does uh, build a wear, wears the number 11 uh, in honor of the year he debuts. On November 20th, the madness continues as Calvin, the Comets mascot, and all of his friends invade the IEC again to cheer the team on. At halftime, they will break into two teams and, and try to play a game of soccer. Uh, highlights from last year's mascot game included Darth Vader playing goal uh, and a Chick-fil-A cow with a brutal takedown of a Jedi Knight. Make sure you join us for that. Uh, Comets will host our first annual Blue Out Night on November 26th as we take on the Norfolk, Norfolk Sharks. Comets fans are encouraged to deck themselves out in as much Comets blue as you can find and to help you out, we have a, we're going to give every Comets fan a t-shirt to wear that night and take home. And we once again want to honor the rich indoor soccer history uh, with our annual retro game on January 14th. The players will once again wear a uniform inspired by the uniforms of the past. And immediately afterward, the fans can purchase these special uniforms straight off the players' backs at an auction that's held right on the field. A portion of the proceeds from the auction will be donated to charity. And at halftime, we'll have a special exhibition match featuring alumni of the Comets attack, taking on greats from all of the MISL's past. Last year's exhibition saw uh, such legends as Gino Schiraldi, Kia, Jimmy Schwab come and play a, a rather, would you call that a spirited match? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Comets pink game is back in 2012. February 10th, we'll see the players once again wearing a custom pink jersey as they take on Chicago. These jerseys also will be auctioned off on the field following the game with a portion of the proceeds donated uh, to benefiting cancer research. 
Now the Comets hit Kansas City, like I said, in 1981 and took the city by storm. The fans flocked to Kemper Arena by the thousands to see their heroes play. And this year we are again celebrating the 30th anniversary with a special 30th birthday celebration uh, on February 24th. Fans will be able to celebrate with us as we literally blow out a giant, blow out the candles on a giant cake uh, just before the game. Now the highlight of that birthday party will be a special celebration at halftime. Now, I keep saying it over and over. We, we are lucky to have a very rich tradition of soccer, especially indoor soccer in this area. It's my great privilege to talk about one of those who paved the way for our game today. Gino Schiraldi played 11 seasons for the Comets slash attack and is one of the most exciting players to ever put on a uniform. And it will be our, our honor to officially retire his jersey number two at halftime of that game. So Gina, would you like to come up? Yeah. <coughs> Is this extra small, I hope? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, well, I, I can't say enough how, how honored I am uh, about this moment. i um, getting goosebumps just sitting beside Kim and all the fond memories. Uh, I definitely want to thank Brian and Ed uh, and all the uh, Citizen Bank and all the sponsors for this special evening. I'm really, really look, looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. And uh, I really feel this is the place where my, my jersey should be retired being the comments and bringing the comments back. I can't thank you guys enough for that. And um, Kim and I go way back, early 80s, uh, the rivalry between us and the Wichita Wings, the Orange Army coming down at Kemper, big memories. And uh, I'm just really excited about it, the comments being back and adding, uh, uh, I believe in the foundation, Kim has found two excellent players in Byron and, and Leal. And I can't wait till the season starts. So uh, I can't wait for my night. And uh, hopefully I'll see everybody there. Thank you.